It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party. It's the 202. It's the 202. Hello, everyone. Coming straight to you on the 202. We're turning the studio into a fashion showroom today as one of the most sought after couture designers and stylists in the industry brings his collection to the 202. That's right, Furman. DC native Kenny Kaz Flanagan is right here with his collection and his models. And we're giving all of you a front row seat. And a veteran hip hop artist returns to the scene with new music that takes him all the way up the music charts. Britt Waters from The Sound catches up with the multi-platinum Grammy nominee artist Fat Joe. It's all happening right here on the 202. So let's do it. And welcome to the 202. I'm Furman Patterson here with my lovely co-host Michelle Wright. Thank you Furman and over there on the turntables guest DJ and our new friend and family member yay yay. Yay yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Call him one of the ambassadors of New York hip hop veteran rapper Fat Joe is riding the charts once again following the success of his Grammy nominated smash all the way up. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Britt Waters, host of The Sound on DCN, had a chance to talk with Fat Joe when he stopped by the 202 during his DC visit. Take a look. Fat Joe is in the building on the 202 in DC. I can't believe you're here because I've seen you at the All-Star Game, the Grammys, cooking with Martha Stewart on reality TV. Why is it important to make a stop here? Well, you know, D.C., man, this was the birthplace of BET, you mm -hmm. know, and other than that, you know, D.C. has been supporting me and Remy Ma since day one, big pun, the whole movement. So I said I had to come out here, touch the people, kiss babies, mm -hmm. let everybody know we got that album coming out. And uh, so the album is out now. It's called Plata Al Plomo, um, me and Remy. What does that Remy. mean? Because I don't speak Spanish. It's called Money of Bullets. Money and where we bullets. got it from, we got it from Narcos, the, the show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So Pablo Escobar, they would stop him, the army, and they'd be like, what you got in the 18-wheeler? He'd be like, oh, I got that work. And they'd be like, yeah. He'd be like, yo, I got this money. I'll give you all the money in the world. Or I'll give you bullets. So in hip hop, we feel the same way. Like, just let Joe and Remy put out their hits, leave them alone. Mm -hmm. But don't come battle rapping them or nothing like that, because they got that coming at you. So, you know, I mean, the album, I'm just, um, I feel really blessed, man. Everybody is calling me from all over. I get on the plane. They showing me the album on their phones. Yeah. Like, you know, it's on the phone now. I know. So what I, do you even sign? You got to take a selfie now. I can't now. sign nothing. Now yeah. it's just a selfie. Take a selfie. <laughs> yeah, that happens all the time. But yeah. we're so proud of you because it's like a win for Joe and Remy is a, rim, a win for everybody. Because oh, we've seen beautiful. the struggle. And it's good to see y'all all the way up. Man, that's beautiful, man. And and you are right. Like so, when you talk about my sister, you say she did seven years in prison, um, mm -hmm. and you talk about having a husband be with her, you know, through thick and thin. Absolutely. That doesn't happen in the black and the Latino community like that. You know, for someone to come out of jail, they used to tell her every day that she was gonna come out, she wasn't gonna be nothing. Mm -hmm. So she came out, she got married, she got a number one TV show, she got a number one record. It's just inspiring young black and Latino girls that feel like they have no hope. They feel like they can relate to Remy. Same thing vice Absolutely. versa with me. You know, I've been through my ups and downs, and I've always managed to get back up and come out yeah. swinging. And it's so good to see her and Pap as a team. And you and your wife, mm -hmm. always together, matching, looking beautiful. You yeah. look great, too. I mean, I try, man. You know what I'm saying? My wife, I'm, I'm just blessed, man. Yeah. I'm blessed. You know, I've been with her for 20 years. So, you know, to think that she looks amazing still is something amazing. else, huh? That Grammy red carpet? Yeah, oh, all that. Amazing. That Grammy red carpet was something. You know, she's, yeah. you know, she's a special one. So with everything that Rem went through, I know there's a lot of people that work with you and work for you. Was there any hesitation on working with her right out the gate? Never. It was like, you know, that's my sister. And mm -hmm. um, we had performed for this, uh, this tournament they have in the Bronx. It's called BX Fight Club, Guns Down, Hands Up. Like so that. they get kids off the street and they fight, they box with gloves. So they asked me to perform. So when I went over there, I said, yo, Rem, what's up? Come with me. Let's go kill it in the Bronx. He said, yeah. And uh, the people just went bananas. And um, 
And that was the birth. So when I took her to her car, she looked at me and she lowered the window and she gave the thumbs up. Now, me and Rem know each other to the point of where we ain't got to talk. Mm -hmm. You know, when you got a friend or a sister, yeah. you don't even got to talk. You, you just got that, side you just got that look and they know what you're thinking. Uh -huh. So I was like, for real? She was like, yeah, man, go to Miami, start cooking, man. Let's make this music. I'm and so here we are. Oh, boy, I'm happy, too. <laughs> so what's different now? Because the rap game is evolving like crazy and fast. What's mm. different from this Joe than the Joe 10 years ago? I don't Besides, know. Besides, the weight is gone. You got to yeah, change not, your name soon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, what's really, really different. But um, just that the music is changing, the flows are changing, the beats, you know, these kids, it's like they step. So we had to find a way to get somebody who's a Fat Joe fan, but a little kid that loves what raindrop, drop yeah. top. <laughs> he got to love our music too. Uh -huh. So, you know, it, it was hard to do, but it's, it's a chemistry that got, you know, we made it happen. Mm -hmm. So how do you protect the game now that you see people being rappers because they know somebody or because of social media? How do you protect the brand of hip hop? And that's what we did by putting out this music. This music, we of course, we would love for people to purchase it or stream it, but even if you got it free, man, that's what we're doing. We're giving it back to, to music and showing these kids how an album is supposed to sound from A to Z, a complete body of work, quality over quantity. And um, that was the whole purpose for this album, man. Like me, I couldn't get it out fast enough because I was like, yo, this is hot. I want people to hear it. I want them to know what it is. And um, I'm excited. We're excited to have you in D.C. Stay as long Thank as you, you want. Somehow you always stay out of the headlines. I never see you in trouble. Well, I'm trying to stay out of trouble <laughs> even more than stay out of trouble. <laughs> I caught a speeding ticket the other day. I don't oh, even want to catch happen. those. In D.C., that's going to happen. I don't so. even want to catch those. Trust me. I want to be the clean cut guy. I'm not running for politics. I just want to be clean cut. All right, you're not gonna stop at the White House? No, nah, I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop at the White House. <laughs> you might need to take some people all the way up Man. over there. Thank yeah. you so much. You're always Thank welcome you so to stop much. by at the 202. Thanks, Thank Joe. you. What a fantastic interview. So uh, good. Love Fat Joe. Love that Britt Waters. You know, you can catch Britt Waters on the sound. She interviews local rappers as well and some of the up and rising hip hop stars. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Ah, I love it. All right, coming up, he's the first African American male couture designer to sell his collection at Saks Fifth Avenue. Yes, award winning designer and celebrity stylist Kenny Kaz Flanagan. He joins us with some of the Kaz collection when the 202 returns. Don't you go away. <laughs> It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. And welcome back to the 202. The DJ spinning the turntables today is, of course, Ye Ye. <laughs> And those stylishly dressed models beside him are wearing fashion from the collection of today's guest designer and DC native, Kenny Cass Flanagan. That's right, he has dressed VIPs, top athletes, Hollywood celebrities like Rihanna, Trey Songs, Alicia Keys, <laughs> and his designs have been featured in over a thousand magazines. Joining us today is fashion designer and celebrity stylist, Kenny Cass Flanagan, and his business partner, Tamara Evan. Hi! Hello, hey. both of you. Hey. Hey. We turn up on the two yeah, of yeah, yeah. <laughs> You warned me about that. You like, don't come in here like that, Cass. Come on in with the real Cass. But you guys both turn up fashion in a way I mean, that, you know, we don't usually see. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. People kind of play down on the fashion. Fashion is how you feel. So you really got to be excited about it. You got to have fun about it. You know, a lot of times people just like, oh, what do I wear? And then you find them always being redundant mm -hmm. on what they're wearing because they're comfortable. Sometimes you have to be uncomfortable to be successful wow. and look good. Well, who ever thought D.C. would be such a, a fashion capital? I know yeah. New York has its, you know, uh, fashion week, but D.C. also has a fashion week. Yes. Tell us about, about that. I mean, it's good, so I'm excited, you know, for Ian. Ian has been around for a long time. He actually gave, he said it was the first award they've ever given anyone they gave me last year for the Achievement Award in Fashion. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, so that was really great. So I was really excited about that. But it's rising. I mean, I started. 
the same way as everyone else that, but it's consistency. So I'm excited about that. We're actually going to an event tonight with him, so we, we're excited about that as well. So, you know, D.C. is changing. It's not the old D.C. that I, I remember. So and not by far. Not, not by, by far. far at all. Well, listen, one thing I want to uh, find out about is how you guys connected. Tamron, you've got to tell me. How you, come on. He's the Diddy of D.C. <laughs> so we actually met at 202 Creates. Oh, 202 oh. Creates. Our family, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we complimented each other on our fashions that night, and I gave him my card. He gave me his information. We connected months after that and ended up doing New York Fashion Week together. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, we just showed at yeah. New York Fashion Week, sold out event. We did 60 pieces. Yeah. Well, I want to know how you describe her style and how you describe Very his good. style. I'll let her go first. <laughs> <laughs> so I would describe his style as just GQ. Um, That's GQ just, with a twist, Tamara. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think Berman could pull that off? Yeah, with with, with Kaz's help, he, he could do it. Oh, he okay. could do it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's always stylish. I, I compliment him every day. Yeah. I, I love his whole style and how he puts things together and effortlessly. He stands out. Yes. Uh, goes without, he just does it without thinking. Uh. Well, she's not bad either. You know, I, I see her as sophisticated, risk taker, timeless. Uh. You know, she, and that's how her attitude is, and that's what really drawn me to her. It's just the fact that she's so soft-spoken, but yet she's, she's, she is very determined. Mm. And I love that about her, so, you know. And we clicked, so New York Fashion Week was, like, amazing. So that was my yes. coming back. Wow. Because I'm originally from New York. I'm from Harlem, but D.C. Okay. is my home. That's my, that's my everything right now, we you know. Claimed you, yeah. There you go, yes. there you go. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was great. It was her first time. So it was a little overwhelming, but she handled it very well, and I commended nice. her for that. But it, it's great. We, we really match. Yeah. And it nice. makes sense. What do you do for the nerves? <laughs> I just keep calm. Yeah. I, I never let let them see you sweat. I, <laughs> I, 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 I may be going crazy on the inside, but I'll never show it. Uh, now, yeah. both of you described each other's style. How would you describe Washingtonian style? What's mixed this city up. like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Mixed up with a, with, a, with a, how's, how's the guy? A splash of sprinkle. A sprinkle of conservative. A sprinkle of conservative in it, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> but it, because it's very different because you have, this is like the melting pot for people all over the world that come to yeah. Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. for jobs and, and, you know, whatever that looks like. And then they're changing because there are more, a lot of uh, lounges popping up, restaurants popping up, and social places that are popping up. So far as me, far as how I see it as, as fashion, it's all over the place. Okay. It really is to me. Unless you don't Capitol Hill, then you're wearing a suit every day, uh -huh. you know. But other places, a lot of businesses are getting very casual, so they're not allowing them to have to dress up anymore. Mm -hmm. So okay. they're just very laid back, you know, no tie. Maybe some places have they allow them to come in with a cardigan or a polo button up and stuff like that. So it's really changing. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I know Furman is probably as interested as I am about the celebrities that you dress. Yes. I oh, mean, wow. <laughs> well, it was great because I just did uh, the Grammys, so I dress in condition. I dressed Stokely. I've been dressing them since 2010. A lot of people did not wow. know that. Yeah. And then I was also on the style team. Everybody went crazy off the Erica Badu gown and the hat. So I was part you? of that. I was, yeah, I was part of that what? whole team. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah. So, so that, was, that was great. I do a lot of stuff. I just don't talk about it. Okay. But Michelle, you know me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, well, you I'm very, know. yeah, you know, you I, I've know. been blessed. I've been dressing Trey songs ever since he had cornrows for 16 years. Oh, that's a long what? time. What? I've been dressing him for a long time. I had the opportunity. By the way, he looks good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's my little brother, man. I love him, man. I love, he's letting his bush grow out now, so. <laughs> but we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> but that's my little brother, and I love him. Um, I had the opportunity, a lot of people are learning now, that I understudy under East St. Laurent. I used to live with him oh, wow. before he passed away. So that's how my name really, like, got out into the masses, because mm -hmm. I lived in Milan with him. So I understudied with him, and that was great. I mean, you got a guy that's from Northwest and went to Calvin Coolidge High School, yes. and I'm sitting here, and I'm, I'm sitting here having breakfast with East St. Laurent. Oh. Like, come on, man. <laughs> so, like, that type of attitude with me, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing you can tell me that I cannot do because I'm going to challenge you every single time. Wow. Wow. I, now, I heard you had, I'm sorry, I heard you had, you took some of your style from, from your mom that you watched I her did. early on dress up. So, I'll tell you a quick story real quick. My mom's, 
we used to have all these people in our house. Uh -huh. And I used to ask her, like, I asked my brother, like, who are all these people constantly coming to the house? And he was like, I'll tell you when you get a little older. So I remembered and I asked him. My mom was dressed in the Commodores, Lionel what? Richie, yeah. pastors, wow. like neighborhood people were coming around. And I just really got bit by the bug. Because my mom, she, she was a hard worker. She had like five jobs and we never knew how hard she was working. Like I mm -hmm. thought I had my first job at eight because I was cleaning offices with her. Mm -hmm. But she did anything that she had to do to make it work. And that's where that hustle come from for me. There wow. you go. There Love you it. go, man. Kenny, Tim. Well, <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. When we wow. come back, more of Kenny Ka's fashions in the showroom on the 202. So you stay right there. Stay where you are. The 202 will be right back after this. <laughs> It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Welcome back to the 202 and the Kenny Cass Fashion Showroom. And Michelle and I have been waiting to get a little bit closer to the world of Kenny Cass and his business partner, Tamara Yvonne. All right, so we're on the showroom floor. I know. <laughs> this, is, this is called the pit. So first we're going to have Leo come out. Okay. So this has wow. been a very Leo's popular jacket. Leo's wearing leather pants nice. with custom pair of slippers. And he's wearing my salt and pepper wool coat. And then if you turn around and you can see the accent of the shimmers on the actual velvet jacket that we have here. Matter of wow. fact, take that off for wow. let, let, let him see so what the surprise is. Because, because the name of this line that Tam, that Tam and I have is called the Pandora's Box. Because you don't never see what you're going to get. Walk up there and let him see the back of it. So you have the wow. dragon in the back. So he's Beautiful doing very well. Yes. That's fantastic. So this, this, is, this is my guy, Leo. Leo's been with me for about 15 years. Yeah. That's my man. So. Love the shoes. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. Yeah, Richie Style Collection. He he does all custom shoes. Wow. Nice. Nice man. Thank you, Leo. Nice. Thank you. All Next, right. we're going to have Jazz. She's wearing a black evening gown with leather shimmers. The fabric up top is distressed with the embellished. Lower sleeves. That probably dances well, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Yeah, it moves very well. Show, show them, yeah. 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 And if you guys, if you guys remember yes. the whole Erica Badu, <laughs> yes, this was, this was first. I've done this first, and she was inspired by it. That's why we oh. recreated it. So this, she got inspired by when she saw my gown and the hat in the picture. I love and that's that. How that I, all I would down. love something like that. And the cuffs. That's oh, nice. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Next we have um, Cameron. Cameron is wearing a very well-fitted, beautiful, what would you call this? What would you call this, Sam? Form-fitting pumpkin spice. There you go. <laughs> I don't like pumpkin spice. <laughs> with her pearls on, you know. We play around with it. She, yeah. she, as you can see, she has a great figure for that dress. She does. But it's very simple. Sometimes simple is better. Yeah. You know, sometimes we think too much, and that's just a dress to throw on. You can throw some pearls on or without the pearls and just keep it moving. All Washingtonians oh, nice. should yeah. dress like that. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm with you, bro. Uh, <laughs> you can wear it to work and then go straight to happy hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So wow. then next, we have the, the incomparable, this young lady right here, Melissa. Melissa is wearing a checkered suit of mine. I always felt like women, so this came from East St. Laurent. East St. Laurent yes. wow. really had the silhouette of a woman when it came to gowns and suits. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the major things that he taught me. So this here, this is one of my suits here. And we set it off with a, a ruffled blouse. Nice. So the, nice. the blouse can actually be worn in three different ways. This time I wrapped it around her neck or you can tie it in a bow. Oh, wow. So this time we did it around her neck. You see the bell sleeves there? Yes. Mm -hmm. And That's it's very awesome. fitting. And then, you know, guys wear the pocket squares. Yeah. So we did a leather pocket squares with, right. the, oh, with nice. the beading on it. Just a little soft touch to give her that rocker side of her. I love that deeper, Kenny. Yeah. Thank you. That. It's see, all about the cut. Women wow. are stealing our stuff. I mean, hey. that's a fantastic <laughs> suit for, for me. And I actually have that same yeah. fabric in a man's suit. Is all right. right. Absolutely. We could be matching. There it is. Yes. There you go. There yeah. it is. <laughs> there it is. And then next we have this, this fine gentleman here, Mr. Melvin 007 here. Nice. And he's wearing one of my custom. Some suits. Oh, so this is a window sweet. pane gray, very simple, easy yes. going. We popped it out with a gold tie. And then 
So someone had named my pocket square a couple of days ago, and they call it the calamari, the calamari. pocket square <laughs> here. So you see all the colors and everything within right, there. Right. So he said it was a calamari. So that's the calamari uh, pocket square there. But how do you get it to sit like that? That's so I cut it in a circle. Yeah. So if you do a circle, it's easy for you to do a bouquet. Right. Ah. There's 21 ways that I can show you how to do a pocket square. Wow. 21 ways. All right, you're going to have to show me that. I got you. Nice. I got you. I got nice. you. Nice. Nice. So then finally, nice. so this young lady right here, I had to save her for last. This is Makita. Rockin'. Wow. Makita was my spokesmodel. Makita has been with me for years. She's been in, she's been in probably maybe 30 publications with me. Oh, my. Wow. So this is my tan Drake dress, and I actually made the diamond pieces on her neck. I what? actually made that as well. And the hat. So wow. this is this is like I'm going out, but don't talk to me yet, because <laughs> I'm walking. And you see the beautiful <laughs> shoes, and you see how the draping is on her. So yes. any woman can wear that mm -hmm. and feel sexy, feel elegant, and you know you can wear the hat or you can take the hat off. But this is like I'm not ready to talk to you yet. Outfit. Wow. wow. <laughs> and you're doing jewelry also. Absolutely, I mean, I've been black? doing jewelry for a long time. So. This is one of my staple pieces. I actually did one in all black. Is that right? Yes. All right, Michelle. And, and I know. I would love to wear something like that. But, Kenny, I wanted to mention Ye Ye, our guest DJ today. He's yeah, modeled he's modeled for me. Oh. This guy, I had no idea that he DJ. <laughs> so now i got to put him in one of my outfits while he's DJing. So, oh. hey, marketing. Yeah, marketing. Right. We wonder why he looks there so you, good. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Awesome. He's a great guy. So I had a lot of fun with him. He's a really good model. I love the models here in D.C. I feel like they don't get a lot of recognition yeah so what Tam and I do we just really try to put that push that plateau so people can really recognize them and stuff and and sh this young lady here she can really speak for it. she's doing a lot of great things she's been in a lot of publications and it's great so the same thing with this guy Leo Leo's been on Fox nice. 5 with me he's a he's a personal trainer as well wow. so he's doing a lot of great things he's actually was on Empire wow he played on Empire and, and he did a movie a with me. Yeah. So exactly. So there's opportunities that, that are out here for Washingtonians, and we're just trying to open up the door. Oh, you can live here, but you can also be international and worldwide. Absolutely. It's just what your mindset is about. Don't Excellent. be afraid to jump. Excellent. There you go. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you. you so I much. Have done, thank I couldn't you. have done it without her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's great. Thank you. I couldn't have done uh, it without her. All right. Well. I, what more can I say? We had a fashion show in, in the studio today. <laughs> Thanks you got to some Kenneth Cass. Ideas? Yes, I do. You and I in matching suits. Pick, <laughs> oh, that would be hot. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna work on that. <laughs> Don't you really need to talk. do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you all for coming. Thank it's been you. fantastic. Yeah, thank you. What a great show. Anyway, thanks to our guest Kenny Cass Flanagan and my co-host Michelle Wright and Britt Waters for that fantastic interview. And of course, thanks to our guest DJ Yay Yay. Love him. He's also a model. And to all of you watching, permanent. And I will see you again next time on the 202. <laughs>